Today's Pro Bike Check is a very special bike. This is Julian Absalon, multiple world and Olympic champions, BMC cross country race bike. This is Julian's carbon 29 inch bike. It's a medium BMC Team Elite 01 frame. Funny thing about this frame, or something I really notice, obviously, is this soft tail on the back. So BMC call this micro travel technology. That's just what I call a soft tail. So there's actually no pivots in this frame at all. There's just a bit of give on the back to give you some compliance on the rear end for grip, but you just don't have the weight of uh, having a full suspension bike with the rear shock and all those pivots. Up front, we've got some 3T carbon handlebars, BMC special edition. They are 680 mil wide, and that's paired to a 100 mil stem, which is a negative rise of 17 degrees. A couple of spare carbon spacers on top so that Julian can play around with bar height dependent on the track. Going onto the brakes, Shimano XTR levers, carbon blades as you normally see, lizard skins, foam grips. Foam grips, everyone tends to use those in cross country, they're really nice and light. Fork, we've got a Fox 32 up front with this electronic lockout. So, up here on the bar, you've got the Fox electronic lock lockout on the left hand side, and then Julian's running the Shimano XTR Di2. So, you've got that electronic shifter on the right hand side. Something I noticed on the fork is Julian's running this gold bolt through rather than having that sort of quick release axle that you normally see on these Fox 32s. Tyres, Continental X Kings, really popular choice for cross country racing. And you can see up front, this tyre is actually a prototype. Continental use this number system on their prototype tyres. One is for the carcass and one is for the rubber compound. So, not exactly sure what Julian's running up there, but that front tyre is a prototype. Wheels, uh, Julian's running Shimano XTR hubs on some uh, unbranded rims, so not exactly sure what they are. But something that is unusual is this little piece of solder on all the spokes that just holds the spokes together gives you a little bit of extra stiffness in the wheels. Shimano XTR brakes with 160mm rotors, pretty standard for cross country I'd say. Coming back on the frame, nice tidy internal routing so the frame's really clean, no cables knocking around at all. Uh, a carbon fibre elite bottle cage, nice little touch, there's a little bit of silicon in these other bottle cage holes that Julian obviously only uses the one bottle cage, so they're sort of blanked off with a little piece of silicon. Tie bolts, stem, bottle cages all over the place. Gearing wise, Shimano sponsored rider, so he's running the XTR Di2 1x11 gear setup. He's got a 34 tooth chainring on the front and it's an 1140 cassette on the back. 175mm uh, Shimano XTR cranks with the XTR pedals. You see that the chainring's actually been spaced in towards the frame a little bit, so there's a really nice chain line on here. It's also running this really trick little carbon fibre chain guide on the top. Got a BMC carbon seat post, little piece of red electrical tape, that's just for the mechanics so they can put the seat straight in, get that height set correctly for Julian. Got the Physique Antares saddle with the carbon rails on there, so like most cross country bikes, carbon everything really. Rainbow stripes on the saddle, very nice. Rainbow stripes on the frame, very cool little touches. Lots of really light components on this bike. You know, a lot of carbon fiber, bars, seat post, seat, all those things you normally see. Titanium bolts, so the whole thing weighs in at 8.5 kilos. So it's a really nice, clean looking bike. I really like the look of this. That soft tail is, uh, is something we don't see a lot of. Um, also tie bolts everywhere, really nice touches. Julian's also running this stages crank so he can get power output sent to his Garmin. So that's quite an interesting thing a lot of these cross country racers are using nowadays. So all in all, for a trick 29 er hardtail. For more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for all, all our other pro bike checks or click down here for our mechanical playlist. Or click on me and the rainbow stripes to subscribe to GMBN.